Okay. Those guys, they were brainwashed the entire time. It was a first generation FTB. You know, those guys are really, really brainwashed. But then there's Chad. That guy's younger than us. He's a millennial. He believes in the moon landing. What? Why? Do you really believe that when they had, they didn't have in the internet yet? During the Johnson administration in 1968, when not everybody had a t TV in their home yet, on a black and white TV, you believe NASA did not lie. You see, you saw this footage. You saw that picture of the Earth rise, and you went, "Hmm, yes, that's true." I'm not fooled. It's like the people who just won't believe Santa Claus is fake. I don't know. I think they can't. I think they're somehow just totally brainwashed. It's got to be brainwashing. Six times to Gizas. Yeah, they went to the uh, Dibbic Gizas. Six times in three years. Th different crew every time. Nobody died. Oh, Apollo 13, they almost didn't make it back. Really? And why did they not go back for another 50 years? Oh, you know, the American people, they were bored with the idea. No. And, and all their, they always have these stupid gaslighting reasons to not agree with you. Because I'll bring up this stuff with people who choose to believe the government story. I go, what other achievement in the history of mankind ever? You know, there was a time when no one had ever climbed Mount Everest. And somebody finally climbed Mount Everest for the first time. And after that, now many hunting... I don't know. Many people have climbed Mount Everest. But it was an achievement to be the first person to do it. They say that that's what was the moon was. Oh, it's a space race. We wanted to be the first country to ever go to the moon. And we did it, by gum. God bless America. You know. <laughs> and, uh, but then, well, it's 1972. Let's never go back again. And remember how Russia, oh, they're our biggest adversary. We got to get there before Russia does. Well, Russia saw us doing, well, I guess we won't go anymore. Never mind. China, don't try to go to the moon either. No one else ever in the history of the, since the early 70s, 1970s, even tried to go to the moon. Well, that's because it's impossible. You know, even if you could get there, you, you, you wouldn't shoot it. You wouldn't put three guys in the tip of a bottle rocket in this, all this phony baloney science fiction stuff people believed when there was one science fiction movie, by the way. That's the other thing. People forget, you know, they faked the moon landing before Star Trek came out. People were dumb. <laughs> they were just naive. Yeah, baby boomers were naive. They, there was one science fiction movie. Oh, Space Odyssey. Ooh, look at uh, look at the monkeys. Evolution. That's another one. Because you see, kids, we used to be monkeys, and then a monkey stood up and cut off his tail and shaved his beard, and now we're human beings. Yeah, science. Darwin proved it. No, he didn't. That's a theory of the evolution of the species. There's no evidence for any of that. It's all so stupid. Don't go to school, kids. Drop out. <laughs> you know? 
It'd be better just to be stupid. There are no planets. Yeah, that's the other thing. They're not even planets. They're called wandering stars. They're just other glowing lights. They're the only stars that don't, aren't fixed in a position that rotates around the North Star. Planets, I mean, they, they do their own movements up there. But it's not what they say. Oh, they're round balls that float around in a vacuum that we can somehow shoot a rocket in and steer with no steering wheel or wings. Oh no, we're in a rocket ship. We're in a spaceship. Ooh, look at me. I'm Star Trek. Yeah, come on, you guys. Grow up. It's not like that. Don't go away, I'm begging you to stay, cause I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> Please don't go. Oh, really? Why? Because I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> the minute you, you walk, walk out, out that, that door. door. But I gotta go to work, honey. No, I'm gonna miss your love the minute you walk out that door. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, hey. Won't you consider becoming a patron? Patron? That's not, no, that's not right. Like, um, patron. Yeah. I can't even say it. <laughs> Please become a patron saint and support Buju Nana Buju. The podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Click the links in the description to our Patreon page. And if you become a $25 a month Buju Crew member, it's an exclusive club. <laughs> it's going to cost you some junia, some no. money. <laughs> no. uh, you'll get a... A cup, a coffee cup. Oh, you can wow. put your black medicine water in there. <laughs> Muckaday bush kiki wabu. Muckaday bush kiki. See, you're already learning a jib boy. 